This will be a tutorial how to quickly and accurately import VE tables from one PowerVision calibration to another using the WinPV software. I commonly use this to import the VE tables into a copy of current or copy of original from a pre-configured calibration most commonly built by DinoJet. We start by opening the WinPV software and opening the map we wish to import the VE tables into. This will be our active map. We then go to load compare and find the, the calibration we wish to use the VE tables from. We then go to Airflow and click on one of the VE tables. It doesn't matter whether it's front or rear. Then go over to the upper right corner of the table window and put a check mark, if it doesn't already have one, and apply changes to the VE. You can see by clicking from the active button to the compare button that we have two different front VE tables. Click on the upper left corner where it says RPM to highlight the complete VE table. You then can go to Delta. Delta will show us the complete table differences by cell. At this point, go up to your math bar at the top. Yours may be in a different location than this. And put a zero in the value file. Once you have a zero in there, all you need to do is hit equal. That will change the complete delta VE table to a zero and make the actual active VE table match the compare table. You'll see now by looking at active and compare, there is no difference. You can see no color change here. Now, both tables were done at the same time, front and rear, because of having the apply changes to the VE done. Because, now, one thing to know is when using the compare feature, you can only modify the active calibration. It will not allow you to modify the compare file. Because the VE tables have a relationship in the displacement to the displacement, entered into the software, we will need to make sure and import the displacement from the compare calibration if it is different. Go to the airflow, click, and you will see the active displacement is a 107. I click on the compare file, it is the same. So we do not need to modify this. If we did want to modify it, the easy way is to click on Delta. And of course, this one says it's zero. If it wasn't, all I would need to do is click on the value, make sure I have a zero in the math bar value, and click equal. That will make the displacements match if they were no longer, this. they weren't the same when you started. I hope this makes importing VE tables into the calibration faster and easier with less confusion.